and you are? My name is Leah Harrell and I live at 13604 Inverness Road. I am a junior at Hopkins High School and am the other president of our school's Earth Club. My passion for environmental activism didn't have a conventional beginning. I originally joined Earth Club last year on a whim because I put my name down on some sign-up sheet as I was strolling around my school's club fair. As I started attending the club meetings and volunteering at events, I absolutely fell in love with the people at Earth Club before I actually fell in love with the cause. Through the friendships I built during the year, I began to love environmental activism as well, and I felt a new passion to make my community healthier and happier. I love my city of Minnetonka, and I want to see us use the res this report card and our involvement as a way to get better and to make our city a leader in preserving a livable future for the children of Minnetonka. Our vision is Minnetonka creating and implementing a plan to achieve net zero emissions by 2040, which is in line with what scientists have recommended to restore balance to the atmosphere by the end of the century. There are many governmental and non-governmental bodies across the nation and the world who have, already who have already adopted climate action plans with goals to achieve net zero greenhouse emissions. In fact, we don't have to look very far to see who else has committed to a similar goal. St. Louis Park recently adopted a climate action plan with goals identical to the plan we are proposing. Spurred on by an iMatter team just this past Friday, the Minneapolis City Council adopted a 100% renewable electricity by 2030 resolution. As we speak, other youth and communities around us such as Bloomington, Eden Prairie, Edina, Grand Marais, Finlayson, and Shakopee are working with their city councils on similar climate plans. This movement is spreading like a wildfire across Minnesota and across the nation, but it's a wildfire that will protect our forests instead of incinerating them. It's a movement that will protect our beloved species like a monarch butterfly, a movement that will keep our Minnehaha Creek clean and flowing, a movement that will ensure my generation and future generations can continue to flourish in our beautiful city that we call our home. We want Minnetonka to join this movement and to do so, and so do more than 200 people who have signed our petition in support of our goals. We are asking for Minnetonka to pass a climate inheritance resolution that will start the process of developing a climate action plan that has the goals of 100% renewable energy by 2030, net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2040, with youth involvement throughout the process. We have a draft that we'll share with you tonight, tonight, sorry, tonight that we hope to start the process of a resolution. We want to work with you to achieve these goals. This is why one of our key requests is for the young people of Minnetonka to have a formal role in setting and implementing climate change related policies. As Lucy said earlier, we must reduce our collective carbon footprint, and to do so, we must act collectively. We hope you will support our resolution, and we are more than ready to start making our home a better one. Thank you for your time tonight. And we have our resolution. Good job. Thank you very much for being here tonight. Is there anyone else from your group, or are we? Um, that's all the students who are speaking, although okay. there is a representative from the Sierra Club who will speak as well. All right. Um, well, let's see. Uh, staff, do we have any questions for the students before um, uh, any comments or questions? Otherwise, we'll uh, continue, continue. I just have a